Akuma. Super representing France, of course. This is a Korea versus France match. We might even see a battle of the 2D character, Moil, famously known for the Geese Howard. Let's see, though. He does play some Marduk sometimes. Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to hide his controller. That's been the new tech as of yeah, late. Everyone's paranoid, man. Like, ever since Olson tweeted out that uh, I feel like everybody's blocking my health sweeps whenever I have my hands visible. Ever, ever since then, they've been adopting this sw uh, sweater tech. Earlier today when I lost, I actually did my rage drive, mm -hmm. and I was mashing it, and then they blocked it. I was like, hey, you didn't see it. He, You're you starting to me. believe it, bro. <laughs> You're starting I'm to believe it. I'm not starting to believe it, Mike. I'm a firm believer. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're going to start doing the sweater tag next time? No, I was going to put it under my... Never mind. <laughs> Game on! Here we go. It is the battle of the 2Ds. Geese Howard versus Akuma. Damn, we're already jumping over the fireball. Got it. I feel like if you play any of these characters, you're prepared for this matchup. Right. You're already using the 2D strategies. We've already seen a couple of jumps out of Super Akuma. But he's a very jump-happy Akuma as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. And Moyle, you know, he's been bouncing through a few characters, right? Obviously, has the Geese, Geese been solid for him, but he also has that Jack he's been building up along the way. Mm -hmm. Especially during 8, but yeah, he also has yeah. the tournament Marduk as well. Mm -hmm. Oh my wow. goodness. He, yeah, he just beat him just to the punch. The throw was already out there. It was just like one or two frames off. Big low parry round start, though. Yeah, start the round low parry. Here we go. Wall carry is going to be easy for Moyle. Nice safe wall combo as well. Doesn't want to drop it. With the wall spacing heals that. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh my goodness, he's so the fast. The re-splat combo, the down Dismiss. forward one didn't hit. Off axis a little bit. Super Kumi, you know he's going to jump in, especially with his back to the wall. There's oh. the jump in with meter, oh, with rage. No. Wait oh, a yes. minute. Dude, all three hits as well. Oh, yes. Double jump in into level one focus. Maximum damage out of this combo. Wow, he doesn't go for the rage art though. He wants the rage more. Oh what? my god. That had to be a miss input. No, what? Was... He had that buffered in there too? There's no way. What? For insurance? Just in case. Just in case. Wow, but another down three clean hit. Super Akuma's doing such a good job of utilizing his meter efficiently. That was a wild last round too, man. Yeah. If he, I'm curious about why he would not spend the race there though, right? Like, he would have done a ton of damage. He wouldn't have killed, clearly. Mm -hmm. Still kind of risky. I feel like putting some down to a pixel makes him second guess everything. But he swung into the wild standing one, gets clipped by the forward one part. He tried to go for a little greedy resplat. Still in control mm -hmm. though. Takes the round. Moy Ill takes the lead in the uh, the game. Exactly. Two rounds to one here. Almost up to two bars again. Yeah, this is a good spot for Akuma, but you know, Super Akuma is super dangerous too with that one stock. Every time he's burned it, he's made a count so far. Yeah, well, it's been really good about sidewalking too against the Demon Flips. I think that's the uh, one key strength of uh, Super Akuma's Akuma. He's very efficient with his meter. Like, he, most of the time, if he knows that his down three is not in clean hit, uh -huh. he will not try to burn it. As soon as I say yeah. that, he burns one. <laughs> not so great there. But he'll try to go for the high crush down two, going under his jabs. Wow! The Street Fighter tactics, the Dog. 2D elements. It was such a good jump, too, just the spacing of it, right? And now the he's timing. got one bar meter, yep. Okay, down jabs to get out of it. Yeah, all day. Wow, that was not wow. the best base thing and we're using the meter, but there we go, final round, game one. Crazy. Anti-airs with the forward three on the up back from Moyo. Yeah, but I mean, look at the meter now, right? He spent that bar meter and now three bars of meter on the side of Moyo. Whoa. He spends one, still got the two. wall two with the two meters. He's, He's gonna save it. it. Right? He's yeah. gonna save it for now. So gets to do it for more pressure. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, kind of wild to here, but let's see. Super Kuma still doesn't have his bar. Wow, what a step. Didn't overcommit for the string. Finds a running one to close it out. And that was the call out, right? He, he, he knew <laughs> that. What's going on under that sweater there? He, he knew that Super Kuma was going to try to jump out with his back to the wall there. That's exactly what he called out. That was clean, yeah. And the sidewalk was there for it. Maybe, maybe they're onto something with this sweater set. Keep your hands warm, too, in case the venue's uh, uh, super cold. I'm going to start playing like that with no control. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game number two. We're sticking to the Dragon's Nest. Step kick's good. Man, that second wow. round of God Super Kuma's way, though. Last game could have been completely different. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's all about who has the meter. But Geese has three socks. Akuma has two. 
race to that first one right now. Almost, almost, man. He, he actually recognized the jump in wasn't going to be deep enough. He's like, oh, okay, cancel out. Yeah, but he also did a demon flip instead of a regular jump, too. Mm -hmm. So, smart choice there from Super Oak. You want to go for the demon flip three. This time gets jabbed out of the demon flip timing. Wall carry here, yeah. Not enough. Okay. Oh my but god. Gets him to spend one. The that's meter, even better. Though, bro. Yeah, that's even better. Bet from Moyo. Terrible <laughs> for the EU right now. Yeah. Jab and here. Convert. Definitely thought the running one was gonna kill there out that has a wall combo. Wow, the down jabs from Moyo. It's been all working out. What if Moyo knew that the running one wasn't gonna kill? He's like, but if I do it, leave him the pixel, he'll spend his meter. That's way too big brain. <laughs> that is way too big brain. Another clean jump in again from Super Akula. Yeah, a little bit of chip damage with the red fireball, the heavy version, but gets a nice block on the low and closes it out. All tied up. Yeah, Super Akula definitely still in this. He's really trying to test that mid-range whenever, like, Moyo wants to chuck the fireball. Yep. He really wants to punch him hard for it. It's a good strategy. Yeah. It's funny, though, right? Because if Geese Howard has life, he doesn't actually have to throw the Rapuken ever. Right. But then you're also building meter, but he caught his back with the standing two. Oh, my goodness. And Geese doesn't matter how you get to the wall. He's still going to get a juicy Stand combo. Up. And just like that, set point for Moyo here. Wow, trade combo for Super Okuma. And he also just ran up into Insta while standing two. <laughs> that mean, that is the mix up. Down, run up, down three, or one, run up while standing two. Tries He's trying to, to run it. And it's desperation time. Spend it. All the 50 50s. Doesn't stick to the wall, though. Yeah, no meter now. But the down four. We haven't seen many down fours. Final round, game two. That was a very mix up heavy round for Super Okuma. I like that. If yeah. it's too far, just chuck the air fireball at the last second. Yeah, he definitely has experience in matchup. Okay, just stepping around the mm -hmm. fireballs this time, trying to find a way in. There it is again. Yeah, it's solid. It's a great approach. Mm -hmm. Get a little funny sometimes. The range and the timing isn't right. Just air fireball, a little bit of safety. Burns one there for Moyo. Man, Super Kuma's still almost to a bar right now. He actually is the one who needs to be throwing the fireball. Ooh. Oh, oh no. big step again. Got his he back with dead. the standing two. Hella dead. Oh, goodness. Boy, <laughs> hell, we're super cool. He looks happy about it. He's definitely super happy about it. <laughs> Got him. And then he it pairs as a Snuggie as well. I was just thinking the same thing, actually. When I saw it on his lap earlier, I was like, you know, that looks like it could be some Snuggie tech. That is 